tomorrow, Faraday. I don't eat lunches, Blackie. If I did, I wouldn't be seen with you. I do you good. Now stop bothering me and hang up. Inspector, you know you're fond of me. Sure. Like I'm fond of measles. Uh, somebody at the door, Faraday. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Don't bother. And thank whoever is at the door for me for getting rid of you. Goodbye, Blackie. <laughs> so long, Inspector. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm coming. I knew you were home, Blackie. Wait, quick, let me in. What for? Who are you? Please don't stand there. Let me in. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So you're in, friend. Take a quick look around here because you're not going to stay here very long. Blackie, I'm Harry Baker. You've got to help me. It says where? $5,000, that's so, Blackie. Five grand, it's yours. Just help me. Look, Baker, beat it before I jam that money right down your throat. I don't like you or the way you shoved your way in here. Listen, $5,000, and all you've got to do is one thing. Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but... Look, I know you're interested in those kids down at the orphanage. They need a gym. $5,000 would help them get it. All I want you to do is one thing, just one favor. Keep talking. You'll do it, Blackie. You'll do that one thing, $5,000. What's the one thing you're willing to pay all that money for? Just this. You get $5,000, all you have to do is let me sleep in this apartment tonight. <laughs> Now back to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. with the time. Get dressed and get out of here. I gotta find out the time. I gotta, Blackie. What time's your wristwatch say? Well, it's a... Hey, it's broken. Broken? Say, Baker, is this a gag? Did you break this watch? Of course I didn't, Blackie. My watch stopped, too. I gotta find out what time it is. I'll get the operator. She'll know. This guy's crazy. Gotta get him out of here. Oh, operator. Operator! Ah! There's no answer. The phone doesn't work. It's dead. Look, kid, you're getting on my nerves. Tell you it's out of order, Blackie. Turn on the radio. I gotta find out what time it is. I gotta know the time. It's time you got into the rest of your clothes and got out of this apartment. I dress it, Blackie. Please turn on a radio, will you? Okay. Gotta get out of here. If there isn't an exercise program on, I know how I can get some. Hurry up, Blackie. Well, the radio doesn't light up. Huh? That's funny. That's part of the plan. I gotta look at a clock. I gotta find out the time. I gotta get out of here. The door's locked. You locked me in. You don't want me to get out of here. You're in on it, too, Blackie. Oh, all right. You're in on it. Get out of the way. Get out of the way and let me try that door. trust nobody. Gotta find out the time. Hurry up, will you? Now, why would anybody want to look... Look, Baker, relax, will you? I'll get the door open. Fine thing, me picking the lock on my own door. Hurry up, Blackie, hurry up. I gotta find out the time. I got it. They can't do this to me. Stop jabbering. Who can't do what to you? I can't tell you. Okay, Baker, the door's open. Thanks, Blackie. Thanks a lot. Before I let you out, you're gonna tell me what this is all about. No, I'm not, Blackie. You're not going to make me. I'm getting out of here. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well. Someday I'll find out why things like this always happen to me. Uh-oh. Hey, Baker. Baker! What? Uh, what do you know? Hmm. Yeah. Dead. Somebody stopped our watches, and then they stopped his clock. Sorry as I am that you did. What do you want, Roland? I want to report a murder. 
Look, Rollins, couldn't you have reported it in a half hour? I don't think so. But whoever was killed won't be any more dead. No. So what are you bothering me at this hour for? Because of where we found the body. Okay, I'll bite. Where did you find the body? Outside Boston Blackie's apartment. Okay, so you found it outside Boston Blackie's apartment. Now, what made you think that would make any difference to me? Well, I thought... You that... thought? Nobody thinks in my department. Just because you found a body outside Boston Blackie's apartment? Yes, sir. Okay, Rollins. I'll get down to Blackie's right away. Well, Faraday, your homicide boys just left instead of the body. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Blackie, I think maybe you killed Baker. Be serious, will you? Baker paid me $5,000 to let him sleep here last night. When I woke up this morning, all he wanted to know was the time. You mean he couldn't tell time? Every clock in the place was broken. My wristwatch was ruined. The telephone wires cut. The radio out of order. Mm -hmm. Then he ran out and was killed. Well, it's a quarter of nine now. He was killed an hour ago. That much I know. But why was Baker in such a stew to find out the right time when he woke up? And, and why was somebody very anxious for him not to? Mm. How much do those questions pay? Baker paid for them with his life. Yeah. Well, this sure beats anything I've ever been up against. Well, all I know, Blackie, is that you're mixed up in another murder. You'll have me eating my heart out yet. Don't do it, kid. You'll die of malnutrition. Very funny. I thought so. Suppose you tell me who killed Baker and why. I don't know. Maybe it was robbery. That's out, definitely. You mean you know something? Don't be so surprised. You want to know why I don't think Baker was killed for money? Yes. When my boys examined his body, they found $40,000 in cash on him. Come on, Simpson. Stop watching that clock. Mm -hmm. I'm here and I'm ready to talk business. What are you stalling for? My dear Mr. Wall, I'm not, as you so quaintly put it, stalling... You know yourself that Mr. Baker has first option to buy? Yes, yes, but that option ends at 9 o'clock this morning. Precisely, and that clock says 8.58. Why not give Mr. Baker the benefit of a few minutes, Mr. Wall? He might still show up, and I did give him the first option. I know, I know. Look, are you going to sell me that club, or aren't you? Now, please, Mr. Wall, take your hands off my coat. You're creasing it. Uh, I hate creased clothes. 9 o'clock, your clock says so. Hear it? I hear it, and I hear you. You needn't shout, and please take your hands off my coat. Are we going to make a deal? Yes. It's after 9. Okay. Here's the money. Price we agreed on. Well, this is what I call a good morning's work. In that case, good morning. <laughs> Dorothy Kilgallen. Hi, Donnie. Hi. Here's your lover boy. Which one? Oh, come on, doll, baby. You're not true to me. This is Frankie. Frankie Brown. Oh, my favorite press agent. How are you doing, Frankie? Oh, come take him, sir. How's Colin going? It'd be fine if the phone would only stop. How are things at the Club Simpson? They aren't. What's up? Uh, Simpson just sold the joint. Yours truly is out of a job as of next week. Oh, Who's the new owner? A guy by the name of Joey Wall. He's going to tear down the place and put up an office building or something. Oh, that's tough, Frankie. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Who is Joey Wall? I never heard of him. Oh, well, he's been around. Say, uh, you don't know of any jobs for me, do you? I wish I did, Frankie. You know how quiet things are right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, keep me in mind. I sure will, Frankie. And if you hear anything I ought to know about, make sure I do. <laughs> Look, Faraday, I like you, but when are you going to leave my apartment? Someday. I promised I wouldn't work on the Baker murder, and I didn't. But this is your second visit in two days. When I'm through in your bedroom closet, I'll leave. I just found this piece of paper on the floor. Keep it 30 days. If nobody calls for it, it's yours. The number on it is Plaza 13500. Whose number's that? How would I know? I didn't write it. And I don't know how it got in my closet. And what difference does it make anyhow? Blackie, I'm working on a murder case. Anything might be a clue as to who killed Baker here yesterday. You might find that anything somewhere else, you know. And I would... Hey, wait a minute. For what? Baker hung his clothes in that closet the other night. And when he grabbed his clothes yesterday morning, the paper could have fallen out. The phone's fixed. Try calling the number, Faraday. But don't tell me what to do. No, wait. I think I know that number. It's a Club Simpson, yeah. The Club Simpson. Now, why should Baker have that number? Search me. Well, that's my idea of fun. Not sure. Hold it just a second. I saw something about the Club Simpson just before you came in. Dorothy Kilgallen's column. Where is that newspaper? You're sitting on it, genius. You're so right, Inspector. You're so right. Now, let's see. What page I got? 
Oh, here it is. Uh, Voice of Broadway by Dorothy Kilgallen. Oh, I always read that. The Cafe Society set is a buzz with the news that Edgar Simpson has sold his club Simpson to Joey Wall. Yeah, so on. It sort of means something. Yeah, what, for instance? Well, suppose Baker wanted to buy the club Simpson and this Joey Wall wanted it badly enough to kill off any opposition. Okay, I'm supposing. Do you know Wall? Yeah, yeah, he's a character. I've met him, but I don't know where to find him. Well, I'll send out an alarm for him. Maybe we can... I'll send out an alarm for him. Maybe we can... Keep on talking, Faraday. There's someone at the door, and I'm going to see who it is. There's nobody at the door. Dope. No, well, we'll see right now. What the... No! Oh, no, you don't. No! Get... Winner, new champion, Boston Blake. Thanks, Inspector. This guy on the floor was listening to the keyhole. He must have resented my intruding on his privacy. Uh, who is he, do you know? Sure, he's Joey Wall. The fellow we are just talking about? Yep. wonder what he wanted listening at that keyhole. Maybe just to show us that the walls have ears. And now, back to Boston Blackie. Harry Baker gives Blackie five thousand dollars just so he can spend one night in Blackie's apartment. The next morning, Baker wants to know the time. But every clock and watch in Blackie's apartment has been broken. The radio is dead, and the telephone is out of order. Baker runs out of the apartment and is shot. Both Blackie and Inspector Faraday are stumped for motives and clues. But an item in Dorothy Kilgallen's column puts Blackie on the trail of a character called Joey Wall, whom Blackie knocks out. As we return to our story, it is a few moments later. Here's the water, Blackie. Okay, Faraday, stand back. Come on, Wall, you're okay. What? He's coming around, Blackie. Cut it out, I said it. Cut it out, will you? Nobody's going to hurt you, Wall. Now stand up. Hey, what's the big idea of slugging me? What's the big idea of listening at the keyhole? I was all set to knock on the door when you clipped me. That's your story. What did you want? I wanted to tell you I didn't kill Baker. Okay, you told me. Did you know him? Listen, Blackie, I knew him, I didn't like him, but I didn't kill him. Blackie, the man says he didn't kill him. Okay, Wall, if you didn't kill him, why come to me? Why don't you go to the police? Listen, I admit I followed Baker the night he came here. And the cop in the corner got a peep at my kisser. By now, every cop in town must have my description. I can't go to them now. I want you to explain that to your friend Faraday. You just did. I'm Faraday. What? Why'd you follow Baker to this apartment? Baker had an option on the Club Simpson. I wanted to buy his option, but he wasn't selling I caught up with him that night just as he was coming in this building. He turned me down for the third time. So you waited for him to show the next morning and you shot him. So you could buy the club at your own price. No, Blackie, I didn't kill him. Well, maybe not, but you're coming to headquarters just the same. Oh, no, you don't. Hold it, Blackie. You too, Faraday. That gun he's holding can talk even louder than he does, Inspector. We'd better hold it. Not me. I'm going to hold it, Inspector. Hold still. Keep holding him, Blackie. That's smart. Now, so long. We'll see you all. You bet we will. Don't come through that door, either. I'll shoot. Frankie, you're going to let go of me. Sure. But don't go after a wall just yet. No, why not? He threatened us, didn't he? Yes, but you can pick him up any time. Oh, all right. Right now, I want you to go with me to the Club Simpson. Just before I make Joey Wall eat his words, we might as well eat our lunch. <laughs> Good food, Blackie. But I'd rather solve the Baker murder than eat. We didn't come here only for the food, Inspector. I came here to see Simpson. Uh, the owner of this club? The ex-owner. Yes, sir. I just saw him walk into his office just now. Huh? Wait here for me. I'll try to make this fast. Well, I'm going with you. Don't be silly. I couldn't find out anything in front of you. All right. I'm back. Where do you think you're going? What's it to you, Bubblehead? Look, Mac, nobody goes into the boss until he wants to see him. I don't think he wants to see you. Out of my way, little boy. Oh, what little boy? You want to play, little boy, huh? Okay, play with it. Oh, I can't. Wait. Now, uh, what is the meaning of this? I tried to keep him out, boss. Hello, Simpson. Since when do you have a bodyguard? Why, Boston Blackie. It's all right, Herkimer. It's quite all right. You may leave us alone. But, boss, he was trying Take to... Take his advice, Bubblehead. Blow. All I was trying to do was my duty. You stupid old... Come in, Blackie. Thanks. Sorry I had to mess up your boy. It's quite all right, Blackie. How long have you had him around? Not too long. Really? 
Now, uh, what's on your mind? I want answers to a couple of questions. Ask them. A fellow named Baker was killed outside my apartment yesterday. Really? You knew him. I did. I think so. Hmm? But uh, when did you and Joey Wall make your deal for the sale of the club? Yesterday morning. Why? Why? Yes. Because I think Baker was on his way here when he was killed to stop just that. I don't think I understand. You will in a minute. I talked to Baker the night before he died. Yes? And he told me he was supposed to show up here in the morning at 9 o'clock. He told you that, eh? That's right. Well, as a matter of fact, he was. You see, he had an option on the club, an option that had to be exercised by 9 o'clock. Mm-hmm. When it wasn't, I had to sell the place to Joey Wall. I get it. You know? This explains a lot of things. The watches that were gimmicked, the phones, the radio. Were... Wall tried to prevent Baker from getting here on time. When Baker made his dash out of my place, Wall had to shoot him. I imagine I should have said something to the police, but the publicity... Yes, yes, I understand. I was pretty sure Wall was in back of this. Now I'm going to get his back to the wall. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Like you certainly took your time with Simpson. Yes, but I found out something. Simpson gave me the link between Baker and Wall. What? Baker had an option to buy this club, and Wall wanted to buy the option from him, but Baker wouldn't sell. Now, Wall told us that, stupid. While you were inside, I found out something. Beginner's luck. Lucky Baker had a bank account. Hooray! Shut up and listen. All right. I called headquarters, and the boys found out he withdrew $10,000 about two weeks ago. No kidding. Another $40,000 two days ago. The day before he was killed. $10,000 for an option, huh? No wonder Baker was so anxious to keep that 9 o'clock date. $10,000. Same amount. Hmm. Say, Faraday, what happens to Wall when you catch him? Are you kidding, Blackie? I'm going to throw the book at him. You may find yourself with a couple of blank pages in that book. What are you talking about? You're missing an important piece of evidence. What's that? Never mind, but take it from me. I'll get it for you. Careful now, Rollins. Okay. If our tip is right, Joey Wall is hiding out in this apartment. So we break right in and start the party? Why not? Wow. Stand by with your gun. Right. I'm going to ram my foot into the door. Okay. I'm ready any time you are. Now. <coughs> okay, Wall. Hold it where you are. Oh, fine. Cops, huh? That's right. You're Joey Wall? You kick my door in, you don't even know who I am? That's fine. Oh, all right, Rollins. I've met him before. Well, Wall, what are you waiting for? Get your coat on. I don't want to be inquisitive, but what are you grabbing me for? Murder. I suppose it won't do any good for me to tell you again. I didn't knock off Baker. Yeah, come on, let's get moving. Okay. Wait till Boston Blackie hears I grabbed you without his help. Boston Blackie. Hello, Dorothy. Come in and shut the door, will you? Sure. Thanks. Gosh, Blackie, it's good to see you. What brings you down here? Uh, information, Dorothy, and you're the only one who can give it to me. What do you want to know? Who gave you the tip on the sale of the Club Simpson? Oh, that. Yeah. Now, Blackie, you know we're never supposed to reveal a source of information. Well, this once you've got to tell me. What's the story? The murder of this guy, Baker. The one that happened on your doorstep? Yeah. Uh, I want you to contact whoever gave you the tip and ask him just one question. All right. And that one question may give me the answer to this whole case. Faraday? Uh, this is Blackie, Inspector. Oh, it is? Yeah. I'm glad you called. We grabbed Wall. Good, but I think you're going to have trouble getting a confession from Joey Wall. We caught him. We've got a confession. I can make it easier for you, Faraday. Easier, not you. Bring Wall down to the Club Simpson at about, to, say, 10 o'clock. Joint See you later, huh? Blackie, I'm warning you, if this is another of your fool tricks... Don't be silly, Inspector. I'm throwing a party at the Club Simpson, after which you can throw a certain party in jail. <laughs> Blackie, oh, Blackie. Hi, Dorothy. You got here all right. You know me. Tell me there's a story, and here I am. <laughs> I remember. It's after ten, though. You're late. Sorry. You said to meet you outside the Club Simpson at ten. I know, but I'm waiting for the stars of the show. Isn't that you? Oh, no. Inspector Faraday and Joey Wall. Faraday arrested Joey Wall, and if Wall is the killer, why all this rigmarole? Yeah, you'll find out, and soon. Hey. Yeah? There's Faraday now. 
And he's got Wall with him. Well, Blackie, we're here. No kidding. Anything for the press, Inspector? Oh, Mr. Garland. Hi. No, uh, I'm reserving comment until after Blackie gets through. You may not be able to print what I have to say. Can I quote you on that? Sure. Uh, no. Uh, what about you, Mr. Wall? I'm innocent. Blackie, frame me. Now, get him if it's the last thing I do. Don't try it, Wall, or it will be. Yeah? Now, come on in and let's get this thing over with. Hello, Bubblehead. Uh, still guarding that door? You, uh... Your boss in? Yeah. You still feel like playing, or are you getting out of the way? You can go in. It's okay. Hiya, Simpson. Ah, oh, Blackie. I, uh... Had they caught Wall? Yes, yes, they caught him. That's why. You know, Simpson, I had quite a talk with Baker the night he stayed at my apartment. Uh, so you said when you were here before. Yes, he told me he'd taken his life savings to buy this place. Fifty thousand dollars. Yes, that was his offer. It was? Yes. That's all I wanted to know. Baker never told me he was buying this place for fifty thousand dollars. You killed him because Wall had offered you a hundred thousand, and you wanted to welch on your option to Baker. He knew somebody was after him. That's why he wanted to sleep at my place. Blackie, surely you're jesting. Am I? Yes. When Wall paid you 100000 Huh? Eh? Uh, Dorothy Kilgallen found that out for me from your press agent. That extra fifty grand looked too good for you to lose, especially since you plan to retire. You killed Baker. You can't prove a thing, Blackie. I was here the whole morning of the murder from 8 o'clock on, and I have witnesses. Yeah, but uh, where was your stooge, Herkimer? During the night, you fixed my apartment so Baker wouldn't know the time, but ballistics will match up the bullet from... Baker's body with the gun your friend carries. You mean this gun, Mac? All right, don't move. Don't move. My finger wants to pay you off for that wallop you give me. You jerk. I could have talked him out of it. I wasn't taking any chances. Come on, boss. Let's blow. You're not blowing any place, Bubblehead. Your tailwind has died down. Shut up, you. Don't look now, but there's someone in back of you. Don't try that old gimmick on me. I said to shut up. I said drop your gun. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> nice shooting, Faraday. Lucky for you, I showed up. I heard Simpson and the stooge admit all I need to know. Good, but uh, I wasn't lucky, Faraday. Hmm? I planned it that way for Dorothy Kilgallen. Was that why she's out in the club? Sure. She did me a favor, so I promised her a scoop, and she works for an afternoon paper. By now, all the morning sheets have gone to bed. Blackie, why don't you make like the morning papers? You've gone to bed, too. Sure, Faraday, but uh, I want to sleep where you sleep. Hmm? Okay, if I borrow your office... <laughs> more calls come in, hand them to Sergeant Matthews. I'm busy. Goodbye. Never get any work done around here with all those food calls. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, no. Go away. Okay. Who is it? It's me, Inspector Faraday. Barton, didn't Mac at the desk tell you I was busy? Yes, sir. Didn't he tell you to report to Sergeant Matthews? Yes, sir. What's the matter? Don't you like the sergeant? Well, Matthews is out getting something to eat. And what you have couldn't wait. You just had to see me. Yes, sir. Well, if it's anything less than City Hall blowing up, you better start running. What is it? I found a body. Lucky you, you found a body. Now, isn't that nice? Your first day at headquarters, you found a body. Did you bring it with you? Uh, no, sir. It's still out on the Viking, out on the boat. A, a boat? Yes, sir. Barton, what are you talking about? What boat? The boat that's lying on Montgomery Street. A boat on Montgomery Street? Yes, sir. But there isn't any water within five miles of Montgomery Street. Well, if this is your idea of a joke... Inspector, I saw the body on the boat, the Viking, and the boat is on Montgomery Street. Mon Honest, Inspector, Clancy's down there now waiting for the boys from the lab. A boat on dry land with a body on it. Oh, yes. You sit... Shut up. Uh, Barton, go out and find Boston Blackie. Bring him back here. Boston Blackie? Yes. That Blackie has an answer for everything. I want to hear what he has to say about this. Mm -hmm. 